Hey, what's going on, good folks? This is your man, Chris Thorns. We got a story over here that's involving a six-year-old, a barber, and a mom. A six-year-old, a barber, and a mom. I'll be sure to share the details with you right after this. What's going on, good peoples? As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. When you watch my content, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, like I said, um, we have a story that's involving a six-year-old, a barber, I guess, slash babysitter, a slash influencer that was in the church, and a mother. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we got this man that you see right here by the name of uh, Ernest Love, who is 41 years old. And he was babysitting a six-year-old by the name of Chance Crawford. What Ernest Love has done, well, pretty much he beat this poor boy and he killed him. He beat him and he killed him. Why? Well, for what the story tells, because he got upset because the boy wet himself. He got upset because the boy wet himself. Ladies and gentlemen, let me play this for y'all and let y'all hear it monster are you this is killing us uh slowly we're getting heartbreaking new details on the death of this six-year-old boy prosecutors say the babysitter a placentia barber beat the boy to death with a piece of lumber he's facing charges of murder and torture eyewitness news reporter tim caputo live now at a park in cerritos where the family held a vigil tonight tim this is a tough one to even imagine it is awful any way you cut it. As you mentioned, the vigil was held here tonight. They specifically picked this park because that is where that little boy, Chance, had his fifth birthday party, a Mickey Mouse-themed party. Obviously, much different circumstances here this evening. You see behind me some of the candles still lit and the wax that melted spelling out, Chance, we love you. The family tells me that it's been a roller coaster of emotion the last couple days, the last few hours, especially when they learned the disturbing details of that little boy's death. <laughs> A tearful goodbye to six-year-old Chance Crawford as a grieving family tries to remember him in happier times. Oh, sweetest kid, you know, it's a bundle of joy. But amid the tears, there's anger as Chance's family just found out the cruel and brutal details of his death. It hit me like a ball of fire, bro, and man, it's just, it's just been tragic. Last Thursday night, Chance's mom went to work an overnight shift at the hospital and dropped off Chance to be babysat by a close friend of hers, someone apparently she met at church. At one in the morning, that man, 41-year-old Ernest Lamar Love, carried little Chance, who was unconscious and barely breathing, into the ER at Children's Hospital of Orange County, claiming he fell. It was a little suspicious because there was a lot of police activity. The Orange County District Attorney's Office says it was far worse. They believe Love tortured and beat that little boy because he wet his pants at the park. Investigators say they have video of Love walking into the barbershop he owned, carrying a large piece of lumber with Chance reluctantly following behind. Once inside, Love allegedly beat him so badly with that large piece of wood, flesh was missing from Chance's butt. Like, how can someone Ooh, that's portrayed to be so much of a saint can do this to an innocent young child that's only six years old? It somehow gets worse. The DA's office Ooh, is after the beating. Love poured hydrogen peroxide Whoa. on the open wounds and then made the six-year-old do push-ups, sit-ups, and jumping jacks until he collapsed. Horrifying details the family can't get out of their heads. Was he running? Was he screaming? You know, things like that. Chance was in a coma since Friday and was declared brain dead on Tuesday, so the family took him off life support. <coughs> Love has now been charged with murder and torture. And Chance's father hopes he's convicted and spends decades in prison. And so it's just not fair. So, yes, I'm hoping that justice is served. You know, Chance had just started the first grade. This happened after his third day of school. The family that was out here, dozens of them equally frustrated over the fact that they believe the mom could have called any one of them to watch him that night. Uh, Love, uh, by the way, pleaded not guilty to all those charges he's now facing. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch. Beat him to some skin off his butt 
was gone. This is what this man did to a six-year-old. Beat him to some of his skin was going off his butt. Ladies and gentlemen, some of y'all may have heard me say this before, and I'll say it again. Look here, I got nothing against nobody's religion. I really don't. Um, But here's what I be talking about. <clears throat> For the people who always talking like they so Christian, they so holy and then down and all that, a lot of times you got to watch out for them type of folks because uh, they are the, some of those people are the biggest devils in disguise. Okay? They are the biggest devils in disguise. And you just heard this story pretty much that it was like that. All right? Trust me, I know I had a landlord that was like that, you know, spoke highly about the Lord and this, that, and the third, which I love her very much still to this day. But it was just something that she was doing. That I was like, oh, that's that's not godly to me, you know. If you if you somebody that's the word of God, but everybody have they beliefs, or I guess what a Christian should be, or they different beliefs in certain versions of the Bible. They say to do this and says to do that. I guess everybody had their different beliefs. I I don't know. I never claim to be Christian, you know. I never been a part of that, you know. I'd have people come to my comment section tell me time before that uh, I need to repent. Repent for what? You know, I'm not out here hurting nobody, all right? I'm not out here killing nobody. I'm not out here physically abusing anybody, anything like that. Have I said something wrong? Of course I have. Of course I have. But I'm not going to sit up here and fake the funk and just be like, I'm just holding it down. I guess whenever it hits me, you know, I'll go down that road. But right now, I'm a lost sheep when it comes to that. You know, it's it just nothing that's just going to register in me to be somebody who I call myself a Christian and then go out and do all this and do all that and then kind of find out I'm a devil in disguise. I'm not going to wear that coat, all right? But to all you real Christians out there, God bless you. But, hey, y'all got a lot of devils in disguise when it comes to that gray area. And I always wonder when people speak on stuff like that, like religion and Christianity, why does it always spark up an argument? Talk to anybody about Christianity, talk to anybody about Christianity, and if you say something they don't agree with, it sparks up an argument. I don't know how that works, but it sparks up an argument. And that's an argument that I don't want to participate in. Okay? That's just that's just one I just don't want to participate in. But ladies and gentlemen, not only that, to connect more with this story, I've told y'all time and time again, y'all stop leaving y'all children with just anybody. Now, I don't know how long this woman known this man, okay? I really don't. But apparently she must have known him enough to feel comfortable to leave her child with him or unless they was dating or something. I don't know. And this is how a lot of guys like him gets people food into following them and letting their siblings stay with them. This is how a lot of them get food because they look at them as a holy man. They look at him as a man who's supposed to lead people to the right path. But see, here's the thing, though. We have all learned that anybody can talk to talk. But can you walk and chew bubblegum at the same time? That's the question. All right? Meaning, can you walk to walk and talk to talk? Anybody can make themselves seem like they X, Y, and Z. But I have always been taught, you never truly know anybody until you stay with them or they stay with you. I know that for a fact. You never really know anybody until you stay with them. And you really see their true person when you stay with them. A lot of times, it's a good thing. But it seems like a majority of the time, it's a bad thing. Because what I always say, a lot of people ain't here for you. A lot of people is here to see what they can take from you. And a lot of people is here to hurt you. Now, they have a thing that they say, uh, hurt people hurt people. I kind of believe that. I, I do kind of believe that. I do believe hurt people hurt people all right don't know exactly what it is that has some of us doing that but i do believe someone who's been hurt who's constantly getting hurt they go into this dark realm 
and start hurting other people, including children. And anybody who get caught in their path is head to the captain. Okay? So, um, and sound like this is what this man has brought upon this woman and this boy. Hell to the captain. I want y'all to listen to what they said now. He had a piece of lumber in his hand, walked into the barbershop, I guess that he owned, or whatever the case may be. The boy walked with her reluctantly. I have a question because I don't have all the details as of yet. I've been under the weather, so y'all got to forgive me. I ain't got all, all, all the details. But I'm pretty much sure my followers who always give me information, oh, they sure are going to share it. But I don't have all the details. But I do have questions walking into this blindly. And here's my question. When he walked into the bar shot that day with this boy behind him, who else was in there? All right? And who else knew of this man's evil doings? All right? Because something like that, you always got at least one person that knows. And a lot of times you do be the mom, they do knows. We have done a lot of stories that the mom, matter of fact, we just recently did one, still looking for updates on it now. That the mom knew what was going on. I mean, excuse me, not the mom. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Not this story. I was talking about Jamaria, but that's not the story I'm talking about. But we have done other stories that the mom does know what these guys be doing to their children and turn them blind eye to it because they care more about the guy than their own child. So my question would be, one of my questions would be, when he took the boy into the barbershop or whatever with this stick, was anybody else there, and if anybody else was there, did anyone not see that suspicious? That this man is walking in the barbershop with a piece of lump in his hand, and the boy looking scared. The body language of a child tells a lot, but it's up to us to pay attention to it, which a lot of us ignores. Because the thing is, if it ain't our business, we don't want to be bothered with it. In a sense, I get it. I understand that. I understand that. But sometimes we need to step out of our shell and help another. Because you just never know who life you may have saved that day. Even for me. You just never know who life you might have saved that day. Okay? Now, here's another question. Again, I don't have all the information. Now, the dad comes in the news. All right? Put a pen mark in it. I hate I can't rewind this video because I heard them say something about, I guess she didn't have nobody to babysit that night or something. She was calling around and for somebody to babysit when she couldn't find nobody. That's what I think I heard, but I'm not for certain that's what I heard. But it was I heard something about babysitting and she would call out to babysit something. Or maybe I misheard that. I don't know. But if I did hear that right, the dad is in the news speaking about what happened to his son. Which I ain't got no issue with that. But was, why was she calling folks to babysit him when it looked like you right there? Why was she calling people to babysit when you was right there? Well, did you have to go to work? Or, or what? You know, what what was the reason why he didn't babysit him? Okay? But don't get it twisted. That's all if I heard what I think I just heard. I can't rewind this back, so I apologize for that. This is very sad. And ladies, please, this has to wake y'all up to stop doing this. Just because you think somebody cool don't mean they cool. Especially when it's involving children. All right? And I'm not beating up on the mom, but man, come on now. But on the other hand, though, man, come on. Come on. What is really going on? Seriously. And speaking of the mom, here's a video, I guess, where she spoke out about the incident. Let's have a listen. 
The grieving mother of the six year old boy beaten to death with a piece of lumber is speaking exclusively to ABC 7. Her son's babysitter Ernest Love is charged with murder and torture. Orange County reporter David Gonzalez has the heartbreaking story. I was genuinely blindsided. You know, I trusted him with my son. Charlene Sephora's heart is crushed, knowing the person she believed would take care of her son, Chance Crawford, instead caused him unimaginable pain. He died a brutal death. It's brutal. He did not deserve to go out that way. Yes. You did that, man. See that? There's going to be a lot of stuff you're scared of, but it don't matter. You got to push through it. Okay. You this is one of the many yeah, videos Ernest Lamar Love sent to Chance's mom anytime he babysat. He came in my son's life just as a male figure. He taught him things. He helped him overcome certain fears that my son had. But on August 30th, Sephora's life began to crumble after she dropped Chance off at... I want y'all to hear that he came into his life as a male figure. Again, ain't nothing wrong with that, especially if the dad ain't in the picture. But, you know, it, it still leaves a lot of questions open, though. You know, uh, if we see the dad in the news now, then what what happened here? What? what, what, what? Loves Barbershop in Placentia before heading off to work at St. Joseph's Hospital. Later that night, Love called to tell her he was rushing Chance to the hospital. He did tell me um, that he was doing jumping jacks. He had him working out and he fell and hit his head. And that's w what's hard for me because I believed him when he told me. Prosecutors say Love had beat the six-year-old with a piece of lumber for wetting his pants at a park then poured hydrogen peroxide on the open wounds Jesus and forced Christ, him to exercise wow. until he collapsed. How could you do this to a child? Like, it doesn't warrant what happened. Love, who went by Azariah, was part of Amazing Church in Lake Elsinore as a minister and prophet. He did the right things. He helped people move. He, you know, he helped give advice. Like, he's, you know, helped people, you know, start businesses. But Jesus he had Christ. been suspended from his roles due to inappropriate behavior with women. They never suspected he would be capable of doing what he's accused of. We poured so much into him and, and he failed us. He failed, he failed us. He failed our faith. He failed us. He failed Charlene. Most importantly, they say he failed Chance. Chance died on Tuesday after being declared brain dead and taken off life support. I want justice for my son because he doesn't deserve, he did not deserve that. This is just an absolutely heartbreaking story. Now Chance's mother is urging other single mothers out there to be extra vigilant as to who watches their children so something like this never ever happens to them. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more Jesus great ABC7 Christ. content wow. by clicking the subscribe button for our <laughs> YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, news ABC7. That's uh, the news clip, uh, both of them, I believe, was the news clip. Um, wow, I'm fabergasted. This is insane. This is really, 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 really insane. But again, it goes to what I've always been talking about. The ones that you don't think they would do it would be the main ones that will do it. The one that you did not think they would do it will be the main ones that will do it. Now, I'm talking about something crucial like this. You know, we are prone to do minor stuff, you know, because we think we could do stuff and think we'd get away with it. You know, and once we see that we don't, that we can't get away with it, then we pretty much leave it alone. But some people just get too greedy and just keep on doing it. They get greedy to keep on doing it. Were they talking shit about you? Were they stealing from you or stealing from a bank or anything? I guess it's just a thrill that they know that they get away with it. But here's the scary part of it. They're never sorry until the cat is out of the bag. They're never sorry until the cat is out of the bag. Nothing this man can say or do can make up for what he has done. Nothing he can say he do can make up for this. He got to wear this for the rest of his life. For what he did to this boy. Ain't no washing this away. Hell, I don't even think there's no way for him to redeem himself from this. Alright? 
But until I get more information, I want to leave. I want to leave with this right here. And please stay tuned for the updates. Please stay tuned for the updates. I just want to know what really went on between the mom and this dude. I, I just want to know, man, were they dating or he was just a acquainted church or what exactly was he? You know, and per that last clip, I need to play it again. And when I hear it again, I come back with an update because I want to know did I hear that right? That she was calling people and she didn't have nobody to babysit. And if I, and again, if I did hear that, since the dad is in the news speaking, where was he when she needed somebody to watch not only her child, but their child? You know, their child. But I do some more digging. No one's going to see what's going on with all this. Right now, this story is still fresh and it's sad as hell. This is crazy as fuck, man. Look here, guys. Please stay tuned as I got more info about this story. I'm your man, Chris Thorns. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for listening. Wow.